Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am the Sam, the beans bouncing around in the background as usual, and today we are talking about a lot type as opposed to an architectural type. So if you love it or hate it, let me know. That would be really helpful feedback. But we are starting with the auditorium lot type, which is a specific special lot type that you find in the Sims 4 expansion pack high school years. You can find the lot type up here. It is a special venue, which means this is the auditorium. This is the only place the auditorium can be, blah, blah, blah. But that doesn't mean that we can't rebuild it, which is what we're going to be doing today. If you're not familiar with this lot type, Type, it's kind of similar to the community space lot type from Eco Lifestyle, where you have one lot, but then it sort of transitions to other lots. So how the auditorium works is you can visit this sort of base auditorium at any time with your sims, but for special events it transforms into a formal dance space, a graduation ceremony, or the career day auditorium. So our agenda today is we're going to rebuild this lot. I'd like to make it look more like a miniature version of the high school because this brick is just dark and kind of sad, so I'd like to bring in some of the white and blue from the school. And we'll talk about how to get the same lot onto all four lot sort of subsections, because if we just bulldoze this, it doesn't actually change any of the other types. So that can be a bit of an issue when you're building if you want everything to look the same, or you can use it to your advantage and make everything look different. For example, I know a lot of people are excited to use this pack to do like supernatural high school and everything, and you could actually place a completely different building for each one of these, which would sort of add to that magical aspect. Or you could just build a base building and sort of refit it to suit each of the needs of each of the different sort of events. Each one has a different set of requirements, right? Career day, you need the career day tables. For the graduation ceremony, it's just, I believe, the same as the base auditorium. And the formal dance does require a few extra things as well. The bulletin board, uh, the speakers, photo booth, stuff like that. So we're going to start with just the base of the auditorium. And I'm not interested in investing a lot of time on an architectural style today. I really want to highlight um, how to use these lots best, sort of how to optimize the space basically, and give you tips for making everything look cohesive. So we're going to start with just basically copying this, right? We've got like, what is that, six, seven tiles across the front there. So we'll start with the front and then I will, I think, add in some curved walls because I keep saying I won't and then I do anyway. And the reason I'm building it off to the side a little bit is because I do actually want to add a bit of an outdoor space as well. I think that that's something that's missing in sort of the default version of this lot. You know, somewhere to step outside, cool off during a dance and whatever. And there's my base. So what I'm going to do is actually get this completely decorated up and hit all of the requirements for the auditorium all the way through landscaping. And then we'll go through and suit it to the other um, event lot types. I'm not entirely sure what the correct terms are here. And I'm going to limit myself to just using the base game and the expansion pack high school years. Thanks again, Hot for Bacon, for sending me this pack. I was planning on producing this video a little bit earlier in the year. It just didn't happen because life. Speaking of, the bean is joining us. What do you think of my color situation here? Now for the roof, I think I would actually like to use platforms. The roof of the main high school is flat and just if i'm doing a flat roof i prefer using platforms for it i am going to copy most of the rest of what's happening over here though including that low fence around the top although i'm going to stick with the bright colors because that's fun and also with the platform we can grab some of the exterior trim and of course the platform trim i found that the this one the brick by brick actually has a really similar sort of teal color which is a nice little border there uh this roof decoration as well which sits pretty decently just there and finally i'm going to finish off the top with just some white concrete if you have the get to work pack there's some uh hvac units i think as well you could do that but i think i want to try and find a sign let's put over the front door here you know like the somebody's name auditorium i realize these are the same sign but i don't like this one for this and having the monkey on it doesn't make any sense. And we'll add some windows as well. Now, if you've been here for a hot second, or maybe you've just guessed this, um, I was homeschooled. So I don't really know much about auditorium, public school in general. Uh, in the original auditorium, the windows are way up high. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but I don't like it. I'm putting them at the like normal person height. And if I'm wrong for that, uh, let me know. I guess that feels appropriately windowed. I think we're moving in a good direction here. If you have something like the Glamour Turf stained concrete that has those really big tiles and you don't quite like how they're lining up, you can rotate them with the comma and period keys on your QWERTY keyboard until you get them lined up about how you think they'll look best. Now unfortunately you cannot do the same thing when it comes to the 
uh, areas that may have a curved floor because the curved um, floor pieces can only accept floor paint in sort of the default direction. You can't actually rotate it. Weird, I know, but that's the way it is. All right, I do want a second floor, but I don't want this entire thing to be a second floor. So what I'm going to do is grab this exact same fence and just do a little bit of a drawing. Now I can delete these sections of floor and a wall apparently as well. There we go. And I have a nice sort of partial second level. I'll just add some like seats and stuff up here, nothing too crazy. Now our requirements include at least one bathroom and a podium. Of course, we want to add a little bit more than that. I'm starting with a couple of bathrooms. Now, oddly enough, the high school actually does have gender specific bathrooms, which I pretty much never use, uh, simply because it's so annoying to try and remember which one you can send your sim into. So I'm just gonna skip that drama. We're going for everybody bathrooms. I think that lays out just fine. Next up, I'd like to determine where I want my stage. Well, after absolutely zero hassle and no bugs, I think we have our stage situation figured out. Now to ensure that the podium doesn't have any sort of gameplay issues, I have placed it right in the middle there. Key items like that, you definitely wanna make sure you have as much empty space around as possible. And I'd actually like to flush the space out a little bit more by actually having a couple of additional rooms over to the sides here. We do have the option to lock doors for all except staff, and I think we can use that to our advantage to make a sort of storage room to place all the things we need for the other sort of versions of the layout without actually uh, having them on the floor, you know, because in real life, stuff can't just disappear into nowhere. Um, also some sort of staff room or kitchenette or something that you could then either have your Sims have access to or not, somewhere to prepare all of the food for the dances, you know, stuff like that. So. That's what I'm going to do with these spaces. Of course, if your sims ever need access to this, you can just swap out the door for the non-restricted access version. And then over here, I'm just going to put in a few tables, a couple of chairs. These look stackable. Do you suppose I could stack these? A little bit of move objects magic there. All right, so this should just look kind of like a storage room at this point. If I had tool, I could turn chairs over on top of each other, but I do not. Oh, where's the photo booth? Maybe they rent that. <laughs> I don't think that's going to fit in there. I'm spending way too much time on this for what was supposed to be a, oh yeah, we're gonna focus on the lot type video. It's turning into a build with me video. Oops, this is what I get for having caffeine and no script. Anyway, I do want to have some like stuff that won't change upstairs, so I'm going to do that next. All right, just some like super boring seating, little table for your Sims to come up and put all of their dirty dishes on. I definitely think a chess table is just necessary on any lot gives your sims something to do. There's a little spot for like special event or training session. Again, just trying to make it look like this space is used for something, uh, cause clearly it's not a gym space, which I thought was weird. But if I wanted to make it a full gym, I would probably want to go through and use some of the city living stuff to get the, um, like the basketball hoop and stuff. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word basketball. So we're not gonna make it a gymnasium, just an auditorium with a few little extra bits and pieces for your sims enjoyment and just for screenshots that'll look a little bit more interesting. All right, this sign does not light up, but I would like for it to be lit up. So I'm thinking I could just like size these down and place them behind the letters. That'll make it look like it's lit up. Now I do just want to landscape a little bit, throw down a couple of trees and nothing too exciting. It looks like we have quite a few trees being used around here actually. So I should be able to use whatever I want, but I still want it to look like it actually belongs here with the school and wasn't just a completely different building. All right, now that I've built a complete lot and spent more time decorating than I planned on, uh, let's talk about how to actually get this base lot that we spent so much time on across the rest of the event types. First thing I'm gonna do is just grab this little guy right here, save to my library, click the house. I don't care what it's called. This isn't going on the gallery. This is simply going to be saved to your library. Now we'll click on the little house, go to the next event type, open up our library, grab the auditorium and place it. Furnished, of course. And there we go. Do the same thing to add it to the graduation and career day lot types. Now back to the formal dance, we do need to actually use all of these things and pull them out. I do have a lot of these things on the lot already, but they're in the sort of storage areas. So we'll pull them out to actually make it look decorated. There are the buffet tables and the fountains. We already have the podium out. We still need a bulletin board, at least one speaker, and of course a photo booth. And I'm gonna pull some of these chairs out and tables as well. Now for interactive items such as the bulletin board, 
I found with other lot types, specifically the community lot, uh, that it's really helpful to just have one because otherwise they can kind of bug out. I haven't experimented too much with this one, but I don't really want to risk it. I'm just going to stick with the one. We also still need a speaker for dancing, of course, which I think I'll probably just put up by the stage. And a photo booth, which I've left some space for over here. I want to make sure I have plenty of space around these key items so that your sims can interact with them quickly. So pretty much I want to make sure I have one full tile of space in any given direction for all of these key items. There's a platform right here, but that shouldn't affect anything. Uh, but we've still got plenty of space around the buffet tables and everything. I assume that you have to sign up for events like this, so I think a little sign-in table would be really helpful. Um, I don't actually want to add too much more to the floor here. I want to make sure that the sims have plenty of space to go in and out. We've got a big open space here, which is boring, but best for sims to be able to move through, especially with the bathrooms being right here. And I am kind of pushing it with it being kind of crowded over here with these tables. But to help it feel more decorated and different, we can add a lot of stuff to the walls because that shouldn't interfere with how your sims are interacting with the environment. This should help it look a little bit more planned and decorated without actually interfering that much with your sims' ability to use the space. Now that we've got this ready to go, we can move on to the next event. And we've reset back to base. So we can pull out other things from the storage room if we want to keep playing with that and just add anything else we may need for the graduation. Now, I actually haven't made it through to a graduation ceremony, so I'm not 100% sure what is needed, but I'm guessing that we're going to want some chairs. So I'm going to start with that. And yes, I did have a high school graduation ceremony in real life. It was a whole class of nine people. And yes, that's small even for a homeschool graduation. So that's what I'm going to do for this event hall. Now, the only thing we really need for a career day is just a handful of these tables. So I think I'll put one up here and a couple toward the middle here. I found that my sim pretty much visits the tables and then the time is pretty much up so I'm not too concerned about adding much else at this point. So there's our beautiful lot. Now I do have some bad news. The auditorium lot type doesn't upload all together so all of these individual lots still register as individual lots. So what we have to do is start with the main and upload it as your main auditorium. Then move on to the formal dance, upload it as your formal dance auditorium or however else you may want to name them, and so on. Make sure you're saving new for all of these. Now I'm not uploading them to the gallery right this second because of course I'll write the description and everything, but now I'm going to exit to the main menu and open up a separate save. So here we're back to square one with the main auditorium, but of course if I open my library, I can find my main auditorium, place it, furnished of course, and there it is, but when I move to the formal dance event version, it's back to the old auditorium, so I have to open up my library again and grab the dance one. I think this is just an incredible oversight on the Sims team's part. I have no idea why the lot has to be like this, but you can't just save it all as one. In a way, I guess this makes it easier to have multiple auditorium types designed by multiple uh, other players, if you so choose, but it is quite a pain in the butt to have to work around. With all that though, there's your auditorium, that's how you place it and upload it and all that jazz. When I upload it, I'm probably going to add a hashtag, um, just a random unique hashtag so that players can click on that and find all of the same pieces like all together. I promise I'll script the next one, although this, this was fun. Thanks so much for building with me today and I look forward to building with you again very, very soon. Bye!